Hey, what up, Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 notification video. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Atomic Shop. As today is Tuesday and we have a reset, we're going to take a look at the daily weekly challenges and the daily ops and so on and so forth. So let's start wasting time, jump right into it. Alright, so let's see what the Atomic Shot has to offer. <laughs> wow! <laughs> okay, 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 uh, okay. I know what this is. <laughs> uh, this is the Raider Content Bundle, which came to us when we got the Wastelanders DLC which was locked behind a paywall and apparently now it made it to uh, uh, this shop. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Alright, so I switched to my wife's account as she doesn't own it so we can see the prices. Alright, 2,000 atoms for the bundle. If my memory isn't failing on me, its original price was around $20, if not more. So yeah, uh, the price I pretty much is the same as it was. Uh, in regards to this bundle, the, when we first received this bundle, there was another one, which was the Settlers. And as I mentioned on my previous uh, reviews of this bundle, where I showcased all of the items, the power armor skin, etc. Uh, I say that this is much better than the Settler for a reason that uh, it contains a lot more uh, content than the Settlers would. On top of everything else, I really love that gas mask. A lot of a lot of you've been asking where did I get that gas mask, and it came from this specific bundle. Uh, let me go ahead. Oh yeah, there we go. So you can get the outfit, right? There you go. So once you buy the outfit, you get the actual outfit, the gas mask as a separate item, and the ha the hat as a separate item. So you get three outfits instead, like. Instead and then you can do whatever you want pretty much so that's actually pretty dope uh, but those glasses with the hat they kinda like uh, are identical actually you know what I'm gonna show you that in a second uh, from all of this uh, like the outfit the power armor is cool for those who like love using power armors the backpack I absolutely adore it and worked with a lot of different outfit combos this save your money uh, Unless if you're collecting stash box skins, then you can get it. Or if you get the bundle, you get the bundle. Uh, but I would not recommend this individually. The loot bag, okay, it's a cool loot bag, definitely. But yeah, it's a cool loot bag. I like it. I use it myself. Uh, the mine car planter. Uh, so you build these things, and then you can plant on top of them. I've used it a couple of times, but then uh, like, nah. I will go with the if you want to save up with the outfit or the power armor, whichever comes. So the flag is here as well. All right, so let me quickly show you the, how the power armor looks like and the outfit. If you want to see more details about or everything else, just go and visit my before you buy video for this specific bundle. All right, so let's start with the power armor. First of all, we sh you should know this skin is unique, and as far as I know, it applies to all of the power armor skins. Like for example, I've just applied my one on my excavator power armor. Uh, once you acquire it, as you can see, uh, I mean the skin, right? You'll need to go to your uh, power armor workbench and start changing it to the Raider Marador paint, uh, which you can find where all of your other paints are, right? So there we go. Let's get inside. Oops. <laughs> so this is how it looks like from outside. Cheek. I think you should see it loud and clear and all good. Boom. Now let's get in. So there we go. So as I mentioned, this is a pretty cool skin for the power armor. Rustic and so on. Looks cool. Survivalish style. Yes, sir. Alright, now the outfit. If you are to acquire the outfit or you have acquired the outfit, essentially you will need to uh, 
uh, go to your armor workbench and crap those over there. By the way, I already actually have the mask on me right now. So this is what I was talking about, about the mask. That's the mask that you get from the Raider content bundle. Let me remove the stuff. Okay, there we go. So for the backpack skin, I also recommend it. And once again, you'll need the armor or workbench if you want to change that. So you will need to go over here where your backpack is and go to the Raider. And that's the Raider backpack. You can see it's small, nice, and beautiful. Head aware to craft yourself a hat and the actual gas mask. So once again, you find it in the Raider section. That's the mask and the Pathfinder. By the way, they named it a little different. Pathfinder. There we go. Then for the outfits, uh, outfits, same thing. You go for the Raider. Choo choo. Raider, and this is the one you get. So let's move out of here. Let me put out on real quick. Oh yeah, why did I make the mask again? So bam, bam, and there we go. Let me get out of there and come here. So that's the outfit, and as I said, the gas mask on its own is actually like the gas mask was one of the top reasons why I decided like to super go with this bundle. And the backpack is ver it's small and it looks good. Oh, by the way, I have some tinkers. You can see where they uh, stick out from that backpack because back in the day when this bundle came out, this was not a thing. But now we can see it. There you go. So yeah, definitely worth it. And yeah, I'm actually happy that it came to the Atomic Shop. That means that the other bundles should come to the Atomic Shop as well. And what I personally really hope is that the... Elder Battle Code is gonna come back into the Atom Shop or in general because I got that code back in PC day uh, on PC when I played on PC but it never made a return and I really loved that code and it was provided to us back in 2018 when they went to some conference so yeah well this means most probably a lot of things that uh, are gonna come to the atomic shop for Adam purchase but I'm happy that this made a move because I do remember there were some comments mentioning that uh, that people would prefer to buy this from the atomic shop and not for like cash cash you know so yeah that's pretty much it over here the sports week it was uh, last week so I've covered this in last Tuesday uh, then we got the war rider uh, also pretty uh, not a pretty a cool power armor Man, this thing is dope. See? It's dope. The lights coming from his eyes. I just love this. This is my favorite from all the four riders, and this is the only one I think that I own. So yeah, that's the power armor right here. It's beautiful. I love it. And I think I'm gonna start using it again. I'll make us some some cool outfit I mean combo once again this is my excavator power armor I just rebuilt it just to showcase this uh, skin so definitely worth thinking of getting because this is dope all right so we got the future tech bundle here again I used to have this on PC but I'm not getting it I'm not sure we'll see oh wait 700 this thing is cool. It's animated. You can interact with it. Start spinning and makes these nukes, nuke explosions. All right, I'll, I'll think about it. So we got the Easter eggs. Those who are uh, Easter egg hunting, don't forget to pick them up. Right now we have the fourth egg released. The fifth is coming tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken. If you collect all six, you'll get a bunny helmet as a reward. Well, you should, because back on PC when I used to have all those Easter eggs back in 2018. I got that bunny head helmet. All right, so the Super Mutant outfit. This is uh, I've already made a review and before you buy, and it was available a couple of weeks ago. Special uh, section: the Secret Service backpack. It, yeah, it's a good backpack. It combines with a lot of different outfits as well, uh, but now one of my favorite. M well, my personal favorites. Uh, Deep Cave Hunter. Maybe now it's time to buy you. I really like that helmet. 
Not a big fan of the outfit though, but really like that helmet. You know what? What the hell? Let's go. Actually, is actually pretty dope. I'm happy with my purchase, especially with the helmet. Man, I wish that the mask would be separate from the helmet, cause I already picture what kind of cool combos I could have done if that mask and those goggles were separate. Really looks good. Might be a good idea for you, Bethesda, to uh, sell that individually or something. Right. So the mask, I love it. The helmet. I mean that thing you get right that <laughs> not the best but still pretty cool uh, the outfit there we go it actually looks good with the Raider backpack as well ish ish there we go stay in position heroic position look at that I take that back it's actually pretty cool I'm happy that I bought it and we've got the shop billboard set. Uh, I don't know the price for it. And yeah, uh, by the way, one of these were supposed to be a Fallout First exclusive offer with a discount. I'm not quite sure which one. And the patch notes, unfortunately, are still not running. And let me just double check real quick. Uh, yep, not running. And since I'm a good guy, I've logged in to my wife's account again. And it turns out that those billboards aren't available for everybody. Uh, but this outfit is. I was hoping that the outfit is available because it's actually pretty pretty nice. So if we run back over here, we can see the prices for other stuff. Wait, I don't remember seeing the commun communist spy bundle. What the hell? Huh? That's probably because I own it on the other one and it doesn't show me. Thank you, game. Good thing that I switched back to my wife's account double check here so yeah there we go let's go and take a look what we got for the challenges and by the way the helmet really looks nice in terms of uh, turning on your pit boy it works like a mining helmet sweet I'm actually happy with this purchase very happy all right so challenges uh, wait my bad wrong one daily uh, build wall decoration or floor decoration Wait, that's daily. Oh, cool. Uh, five times. Uh, complete daily operation. Everybody does those. Complete an event. Uh, do five dailies and this will trigger. Kill 25 creatures. Level up one time. Survive in nuclear winter for five minutes. And visit your shelter. For the weekly, we got build floor wall decorations in a workshop or camp 25 times. Uh, collect 1,500 caps. Uh, complete five daily operations. Uh, complete one daily challenge. If you do your dailies today, you should complete this as well. Uh, complete an event 10 times. Kill a creature 100 times. Kill a legendary 10 times. Level up 3 times. Repeatable. And visit another player's shelter. So that's what we got in terms for the challenges. For daily ups, we've got the Boodoos, uh, Robots, and Freezing Touch. Cool. Let me see if there are any teams that I can join there we go and let's go kick some booty and see what we get all right let's see what I get no scrap <laughs> nothing cool Alright Z-Clan and everybody else, you all know the drill if you found this video useful enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that like, comment down below, please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube, nobody see them, nobody can uh, read them, nobody can respond to them. So if you got something to say, positive, negative, feel free to comment, the only thing that I ask of you is not to swear. And if you're posting your feedback, not swearing, everybody will be able to read the comments and get back to you. All right. If you're new and you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine, so hi from Ukraine. Once again, thanks all for watching this video. If you would like to join our Discord, feel free to do so. The link is down in the video description. But make sure to read our rules before uh, you do anything there, because if you don't follow the rules, most probably you're gonna get banned. <laughs> Alright, so once again, thanks all for watching. You all have a good morning, day, and night. Whatever you guys like, hey, I'll see you later. Bye.